Now, look, you'll remember we, we had a good chat over the coronation weekend. There was obviously plenty on. It was a very big, very complex event. Apparently, Charles has a regret. What is it? <laughs> well, you know, when the justice settles on these big events, I mean, I'm sure there's an awful lot of people poring over the sort of whys and what what whatnots went on. But one big regret has come out, and it is Charles himself has said this at an event uh, last week, talking about the only regret he had from his coronation weekend is that he wasn't closer to the action when it came to the coronation concert. And I was lucky enough to be there at the fantastic stage at Windsor Castle. You know, headliners like Take That, Katy Perry, a barnstorming event. But... You know, to be fair, the Royals were pretty much sat away from the action. He said he wished he'd brought his binoculars uh, for the event. I mean, he seemed to be having a good time. You remember Sophie, Dutch of Edinburgh, was jiving in the in the stands, rocking her shoulders. She got a lot of plaudits for that. Charles seemed to be toe-tapping his way through the set. And uh, great, a great end to the, to the coronation weekend. I'm sure there was an awful lot of stress on him in his big moment. But uh, it went off without a hitch. And I suppose if that is the only thing that he regrets, he didn't do too badly on the week. Yeah, absolutely. Here, here. And look, still with Charles, we all remember his tussle with that fountain pen. Here it is. Oh, God, I hate this. Oh, it's going over the back. So nobody got shot. And a year down the track, it looks like he can laugh at himself. Here it is. And our ability to laugh at ourselves is one of our great national characteristics. Just as well, you may say, so uh, given some of the vicissitudes I've faced with frustratingly failing fountain pens this year. <laughs> It's things like well, that that actually they do make us all smile, don't they? They do make us all actually really like Charles. Oh, I think so. I mean, at the time, you can imagine the stress on him. The first incident was at his accession council. If you remember, sort of shooing the fountain pen away to his equerry. That then, the clip you just saw then was at his first engagement. And it was sort of this this big muddle of the fountain pen gate that Charles was embroiled in. But at a speech at Mansion House this week, he was talking about, you know, the togetherness of communities and how he sees his role sort of as sort of a fosterer for good relationships, not only in the UK, but abroad and talking about British and Commonwealth values, that knitting together. But, it, you know, having a laugh at himself. And I think that when you all is said and done over the last year, he's had a pretty solid year, Charles. I'm hoping that people will be expecting to see him more at both home and abroad next year. But when you look at the uh, the, the first 12 months, he's been pretty solid. And uh, he's got a sense of humour. And I suppose uh, that, that, that shows him in a good light, definitely.